guy killed his fiance right here, less than 30 years ago. Wow! It was like a floating stick. I just heard a man's voice say, go away. I just heard something whisper in my left ear. That honestly is like probably my top 10 coolest like evidence I've ever got. I will never forget that. That was insane. Before this video begins, we just want to make a big announcement. You guys have been asking, when can you go ghost hunting with us again? Finally doing it. We're picking two people to investigate with next year in 2024. And the way we're doing it is we have a brand new merch box right now. Boom, I'm wearing the hoodie. That's one of the shirts. He's got the beanie. There's another shirt in the box as well. It's all right here. Yeah. Two people that buy the December merch box is gonna come ghost hunting with us for free. We're gonna find a location near you. We're gonna rent it out, full overnight investigation, bring in all the gear. Maybe we'll make it part of a video. You never know. So that's happening. Literally everyone who has already bought the box or will buy the box who are automatically entered. Yep. And then we will pick our winners. So if you guys wanna head over to senditsociety.com. All right, y'all, get your merch boxes. December only. Two winners. So in this video, <laughs> these Getty Birds video are insane. They're basically uncut because they were just phenomenal, phenomenal experiences. Welcome back to the Overnight Channel. We are still in Gettysburg and this video is a special one because it's actually two very different locations in one night, in one video. Yeah. And what honestly is the most proud I've ever been for an episode we've ever posted. This was one of the most, not only emotional investigations, but unique. And we ended up getting some of my favorite evidence that we've ever gotten all the years ghost hunting tonight. Between meeting Robbie right here in the schoolhouse. Yeah and having a two hour long conversation with Deborah yep. at the murder house. We brought everything back to simplicity and had just undeniable, heartwarming, incredible, incredible conversations. Incredible. And, and I, I just, I, I really, really want you guys to watch this whole thing through yeah. and, and just enjoy it, embrace it, experience what we experienced here tonight because it is, it is so rare that we feel the way that we do. Yeah. This, this was just awesome. Hope you guys enjoy. But one more thing though, hmm. um, we're, it's, still on, it's still on the table. Uh, if the video gets 100,000 likes, uh, you guys get to pick where Corey has to go completely alone for, for a night. It's 150,000 likes and it automatically sends me to uh, Suicide Forest in Japan by myself for an entire night. So if you guys comment a location, it's like the top comment, mm -hmm. and then also 100,000 likes, he has to go there. We never said there was a limit to it. So mm -hmm. in theory, like if 10 videos all got 100,000 likes, he could have to spend like 10 nights in, in 10 different locations that you guys comment. So if you guys want to do that, that'd be super cool, because I could really use a vacation. So if you guys just hit like right now, I'll leave a bunch of comments, comment whatever you want. I mean, I can keep giving you guys locations, Alcatraz, Whaley House, Winchester House, like it really doesn't matter to me, Execution Rocks, oh like God. anything at all that you want. Where did he go? Is he over there? Corey? Corey? Oh, you going on a trampoline? Oh, that's cute. That's cute. Please, everyone, get this to 100K and then comment. Corey has to stay overnight on a trampoline. Enjoy the video. You're wearing a military vest with a teddy bear jumping on a trampoline at 5.30 in the morning in Gettysburg on the side of the road outside of a motel. <laughs> Wait. You guys ready to go, son? <laughs> Get closer. <laughs> so funny, isn't it? Rumor has it the place is haunted. You guys believe it? I do. What was that? What was what? Did you hear that? You hear what? Where's the ghost at? I don't see him. That this town was haunted. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Why are we here? Yo.
<laughs> I almost had it. Well, good to see you again, man. Good to see you. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we ready to hit the school up. I'll, I'll tell you about what I know about this place and what we've got in here. The inside, the main part of the bricks is actually the original part of the house. That's where it's actually school out. The white part is an add-on. You can tell by the blocks and stuff, just like the other house. Um, this house actually got burned up and four children died in this location. Oh, um, wow. They didn't die of fire, they died of the smoke. That's what caused their deaths. Yeah. This is the main part. You got this room and then you have the back area. That okay. was original. The steps, your stair goes up to the attic. You can't get up to it. I mean, you can go on the steps, but they, they got a piece of plywood that would love it. Okay. So you can't get into it. Bathroom over here. A lot of people that we do investigations with somehow they always wind up going over there to that bathroom. I don't know why. They said they, they get a lot of communication there. I don't know why. I'm, I'm assuming here it's, it's pretty much like children spirits, right? Yeah, children. Now the cavalry, they actually had some kind of a Union cavalry was outside here, and so there is some soldiers were floating around. But inside, I don't. I never got soldiers inside this place. I'm always getting stuff that's on the kid, the kid areas, and okay. the children. As you can see, the, the how the structure looks. Yep. Yeah, that's how it used to be in the Adams. Jeez. Oh, wow. Tiny. Tiny, really small. Super small. There's like 20 swords and 15 guns back there. Really? Yeah. That could be a trigger item. Yo. Oh, sh. Like, is any of this real? Well, I've never seen any of this. This door's always been shut. Oh, oh really? Really? I mean, again. Right. That looks pretty Like, it looks sick. pretty crazy to me to yeah. dog. How heavy is That's got some weight to it. Whoa. Yeah, and there, there's a bunch of them here. I mean, what? I mean, like, oh, look at all the photos too. You have to be really careful, but I mean, look at the sword holster. I mean, yeah, look at all the photos. Look at the Pringles can. You've never seen this? I've never seen Pringles in here. No, that's what <laughs> What's the pictures of, guys? What? I've good. never seen this that's stuff. Good. <laughs> Dude, I had to. I don't know if y'all saw it when y'all came walking out here. I was standing back there by the stairs by myself, and I just came running in here. Like Wait, I, when? I felt like something was next to me or behind me. When? Right whenever you guys just walked in here, because I walked through the back door, and I was standing next to the stairs, and I booked it in here. Let's do the investigation. Let's start. All right. Let's do it. Dude, something is right here. I swear, dude, something's right here, bro. Like, I don't know if it's the stairs going up or it's this room or because the bathroom's over there. But over there, I feel safe and fine. But standing right here, dude, it feels heavy and creepy. Let's kind of booby trap this whole area and see if there's anything here. Oh, dude, again. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, cat I'm ball. moving. Whoa. Okay, let's keep setting up and... Dude, is it coming from the stairs? Yeah, or it is. is. Yeah, or is it coming from the door that's locked above? I feel like it's the stairs. Dude, it's literally a... Uh, cool. Super cool. Mm -hmm. Whoa! What? I just heard something whisper in my left ear. What is that? Bro, I don't know. It was like a, <sighs> swear to God, super loud. As I turned this, as I sat this down and turned it on, I heard a, <sighs> in this ear. Whoa, what? I just heard something whisper in my left ear. Okay. Well, this looks insane. Yeah. Dude, what? Cat Cat ball. Stairs. Mm-hmm. Uh, cat ball just went stairs. off again. The staircase right here is not not normal. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was cool. I just you find right at it. I just saw a little orb of light. It's right here. I'm just try and stay clear of the laser grid because this is actually our best chance to like document an apparition. Yeah. Because if one of these goes off. 
and the laser grid is broken at the same time, we haven't, we haven't caught anything like that before from us. Ever. Well, hello. My name's Corey. Uh, I want to let you know I don't mean any harm at all. We're just here tonight to talk with you. And if you want, we can play some games tonight. We can tell you some jokes. We can have some fun. So hopefully we can talk to y'all tonight. Hello, my name is Jerry. Came and play, get to know you guys, learn more about you guys. We set up a bunch of tools in here. Feel free to use the energy, you know, and let's, let's play. Hello, my name is Elton. We're hoping tonight we can have some fun spread some positivity, maybe teach you some new things, some new games you haven't heard of before. We even saw there's some, some guns back there, we're gonna have a little battle, a little shootout. We know it's a pretty scary place here in Gettysburg. This might be like your only safe haven as a kid. Don't be afraid of us. You know like in real life when you have like a red laser pointer on your chest with like a sniper? Mm -hmm. Imagine if you're a ghost right now and you're like, I won't move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got a thousand. <laughs> Ghost guns pointed at you. I want to try one thing. Okay. That was cool. In my, I was about to say I'm gonna to go to the top of the stairs. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. That's that's me setting up. Yeah, but you need to the one off that you just said next to. That's wild. Yeah. This one, yeah. Okay, anyone that's here, it'd be super cool. Yo, why is that green light moving? Oh yeah. I don't want to block Look, it. I don't want to block it's it. It's gone. You saw that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one green light just over Evan's shoulder. Was it was right here. Yeah. What? No, it's gone. What does that mean? That there's something there? That <clears throat> something would have to be in front of it pushing the light there because there's no light here. Uh -huh. So something was in the light reflecting the light here. So it could be an apparition or something in there that's blocking it, but then redirecting it just like a prism. That'd have to be the smallest apparition you'd ever imagine. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. It is going all. Oh. Hey, was that you? Was that you playing with our light in here? I think we're like getting everyone's attention. I know. I think they're all starting to kind of culminate around us. Yeah. That was cool. I oh. have really bad like rib pain. Except this one just went off the grid. Yeah. Dude, both of my ribs are like hurting really bad right now. I have no idea why. Is that like squishing or is it like pinching? Right here, it's, it's like a, like it feels like it's like, yeah, it's, I guess squishing. Okay, well we know someone had to have been right there. The only way that goes off is if you are an inch or less away from it. Right. And I put it, did you just hear that? I just heard a, no one heard that. No. Bro, I'm here. Was that you? Do I keep hearing you? I put it right in front of the picture of all the kids. That's where it is right now. Mm. I think that was the confirmation. Okay, here we go. Three, two. Getting for schoolhouse. We are leaving the recorder alone. Do you want to talk to us tonight? Are you able to see us? Are you one of the children that passed away here in the fire? We're gonna pick up this recorder that's on the table. We're gonna listen to what he said. Did you hear something when you yeah. were asking all the questions? Just like I heard a cough. I don't know. I don't know if anyone else heard that, uh -uh. but I heard a cough. 
Oh, I heard a cough. Oh, smoke. Oh, yeah. Cough. Dude. We're wondering if you might be in this picture, so if you are, or if you aren't, if we get any of these questions right, can you set up the box for us? Make it beep and then we'll know. Now, are you a boy? Speaking to a young girl. Are we speaking to a young girl? Are you any of these people?
this can the green lights are really really faint, but I saw what you were talking about with that green light. Up just moves up there. there. Yep. I'm really hoping this camera got it. Hey, hey, buddy. Hey, you got the wrong guy. Give me one reason not to shoot you right now. Cause I can make the sound of a cow. Move the gun away from my face. I got every goddamn right my mind to milk you right now, boy. Hey, hey. Are there any other cowboys in here that can help me? Alright, listen, partner. Any other cowboys that can help me, I need you to go touch the box out there next to your picture. If you touch the box, we win. And he'll point the gun away from me. You got 10 seconds, partner. 10, 9, 8, come on guys, 7, Six. Come on guys, touch the box. Please. Five. Four. Three. Come on guys, touch the box. Two. One. Oof. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, she scared me. Oh my god, dude. I'm just seeing it again. Two, I know what you're talking about because two of the dots just went bomb right there. I, dude, is this gonna catch it? I hope it catches it, dude. You saw the one went, mm, and the other one after that went. Mm. You like playing with the lights? Is there someone hiding at the top of the stairs? Who's up there? Hmm? Is it Timmy? Robert? Charlie? Is that Robbie up there? Where you at, Robbie? God. Just a lot of common names, I don't know. I mean, also Robert. It did it again. Really? Green laser just went flying. Wow, what is this? Robbie? What you doing up there, Robbie? You hiding? Can you come down here and touch one of these? You do this? Jesus, I like Now the camera's running off. Yeah. Wait, did oh. it get turned off? Oh, look. Is that one dead? No, oh. it got turned off. It got turned off. No way. I mean, they like playing with lights. All right, Robert. Every time on Robert, every single time. I think we know his name. It's Robert. Has to all be. three are going off right now. You want to play Cowboys, Robert? Every single time. All right, Robert, you're going to need to decide whose team you're on. If you're on his team, make that lot light up. If you're on my team, make my lot light up. You got five seconds to choose, Robert. Who's team you on? I have a feeling Robbie's on his own team. Hmm. Okay. You got a three-way standoff, four-way standoff. Okay. All right, Robbie. We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Make this a fair fight. Oh, he gets a gun. Oh, gun. You ready, Robbie? Whoever wins this duel, come for you next. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bam! You got me. You got me, Mark. Yeah, rat. That's Kill him for me, Robbie. Now it's me versus you. Here we go. You can let me know that you shoot it by making that ball out of it. Knows. I think Robbie just got it. I think, <laughs> I think he's got it. I think he's got it. <laughs> he's like bang bang. <laughs> Robbie just destroyed you, dude. <laughs> Alright, wait, Robbie. Wait a second, Robbie. Jerry? Yep. Count five. Me and Robbie have to turn around at the same time. Alright. Robbie, remember, make that ball go off to shoot it. Ready, Jerry? Yep. Count them down. Alright. One, two, three, four. He just shot you twice. Yo, Robbie. He <laughs> Robbie shot you Robbie, twice. Listen. You can't do it. While my back is facing you, okay? You gotta shoot on five, okay? Let's try it fair. Let's try it again, Robbie. One, two, three, four, five. You got Who got it first? Who got who? Who got who? He's saying he got you. Oh, he's saying he got you. He's saying he got you. Three paces. Do it again. Let's do it again, Robbie. Come on. One, one more. Bag is a draw? One more, Robbie. Three steps. Three. Three, Robbie. One, shoot the face. Two, shoot the face. Three. Mm -hmm. He wants to win like a man. Mm. He wants to win with humility, with pride, in the proper way. I look, you feel like Robbie just left. Is that you? No. Oh. What was? Okay, Dude. you're still here, Robbie. Hi, Robbie. Sorry. <laughs> what? Nope, was not me. That wow. Was yep, the step right here moved. That was. He loud. made that clear. These two steps right here. Okay. I feel like Robbie. Uh, I feel like Robbie won. Okay. Robbie, will you come out here? You want to come out here, Robbie? Oh, the laser. The laser. Oh. It's off completely. When did that happen? I I didn't even notice. Don't know. Within the past five minutes. Whoa. Whoa. I Whoa. think it happened after he killed you. Whoa. Dude. Yeah. I didn't even notice. He turned it off. Wait. That's why he walked away, went over there, turned it off, and then we heard him get back on the steps. Whoa. Five. Two. Who got it? Who got it first? Who got who got who? Who got who? He's saying he got, he he got you. He said he got you. Three paces. Do it again. Let's do it again, Robbie. Come on. Right one, one more. Back is a draw? One more, Robbie. Start back to back. Alright. No, no, back to back. Come on now. Ready? Right here? Yeah, that, bat that battery took off 10 hours straight. So we'll leave it on for an overnight investigation. Okay, where is it? It's on the chair. You can see like the most minuscule green light. Okay, wait. 
Did he turn it off or did it die? No, it, it should not have died. I, I test every single piece of equipment. Look, cat ball, right there, first time ever. Yeah. Like right now, oh, I just got wow. the very tail end of it. Go ahead, turn it back on. Dead. Yeah, no. What? Dead. Yeah. No, we te I tested every single thing. It's like what barely. I, got it I turned everything on overnight. I double checked everything. Yeah, I mean, Evan was with me when I threw out one of the batteries that, like, didn't work well. I just got rid of it completely. Just to make sure I only have the good ones. And that's the first time this cat just went off over here. Yeah. Wow. Okay, uh, Robbie. That's so awesome. Drained it. He won the duel. And then on top of that went, I'm over this. Get out of here. Turn it off. Wow. <laughs> that's cool. That That's was cool. Super cool. That was cool. Do you think Robbie's here by himself? Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's the answer. I'm sorry, bud. Wow. Oh, Robbie. Do you want us to stay and keep playing different games? Or do you like being alone sometimes? I'm so sorry, Robbie. You're here all by yourself, all the time. You really felt like you like came down from the attic, walked mm -hmm. over here, walked around to like get our attention. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes me want to cry, I don't know. Do we owe you candy? What do you want? You want chocolate? You want a lollipop? Robbie, you want us to stay and keep talking to you? Because no. he, he knows how to use everything that's set up. Mm -hmm. He knows how to activate every single thing. Mm -hmm. Maybe he likes being alone. Yeah. You know, think about it. He's got a mansion to himself. That's true. You know? People come in here and hang out, bring toys, bring candy. Yeah. That's so cool. It's 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 crazy because we know how hard this is to mm -hmm. like just set off. For all of them. And then them to get to three at the though. same time, I mean it's Dude, it was more than three. Oh, it was all of them. Literally. Really cool. Hey Robbie, I got one more question for you. Make all of these lights light up again. If you have a girlfriend. Whoa. Whoa! Robbie over here getting girls! <laughs> Let's, Let's go, go Robbie! What? Where the hell did that question come that from? Was so I just funny. I just I don't something just told me to ask that. What, what? the hell? Dude. <laughs> Dude, that was cool. I just came over here to flip it back to night vision because the grid's off. Yeah. Alright, Robbie. I see that entire thing. That's insane. Okay, my Dude, guy's that's amazing. Look at that clock. Yeah, I just switched it over, so I forgot the whole thing. Oh. Let's go, Robbie. Robbie's got a girlfriend. <laughs> okay. Ruthless Robbie. Mm-hmm. Robbie the dog. Mm. That that honestly is like probably in my top 10 coolest like evidence I've ever got. I will never forget that. That was insane. Oh, so that's why we might be alone. Mm. Oh, that's why he wants to get out. Oh, okay. Got it. Robbie wants us out. Got it. Because he wants to be alone with his girl. It's Friday night. And no wonder upstairs. It's the only private area. It's the only private area in this entire building. And for all we know, there's like a bedroom up there. Let's go, Let's go Robbie! Let's, Let's go, go, Robbie! <laughs> Robbie's on a date tonight. Hey, that one went off down there too. Did it? Yeah. Third one back. Oh my god. Whoa! And the ball! ball. Alright, man. Dude. This is so sick. Alright, Robbie. I think. You made it clear you wanted to get out. Yeah. Alright. Well, it's nice to meet you, man. It's fun. Hey. That's a 
pretty cool you got a girl, Robbie. I'm proud of you. Okay, Robbie. This will be my last question for you. Ready? Hey, Robbie. Have you kissed her? Should I ever ask Robbie some dumb questions? Are we? He's ruthless, Robbie. That's right. <laughs> Robbie's, yo, Robbie is past that. promised yeah all right robbie have fun bye robbie enjoy your day okay so one of the key stories with the location i don't know who uh who texted me all the information you're i'm assuming your, your partner the number one sighting here the only sighting here according to what she sent me is a number of people have seen a little girl with a blue dress and blonde pigtails standing by the front door robbie's girl. robbie's girlfriend is who they're oh, seeing that's robbie's oh girl God. We've heard mysterious dogs barking that aren't there. We've heard horses and gunshots and a great deal of voice phenomena. And then check this out. This is the one picture they sent that they've documented oh here. My God. Does that Whoa. Not look like a little oh boy named Robbie? God. Look at that. That's like one of the more recent Dude. pictures that they just captured here. Whoa. That's out front. Dude, we had the, one of the coolest like non-stop hours we've ever had. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, literally f***ing insane. Dude, I wonder if that's who everyone sees is his girlfriend outside. I would wow. we should have asked oh if we knew that we'd be like is she wearing a blue dress tonight yeah it's too late now to ask we'll come back yeah we'll yeah we'll sure. come when back we come back to gettysburg we'll definitely come back here that'd be so sick all right we're ready we're ready yeah. to, we're ready for the murder house right, cool. <laughs> oh man, oh, man. It just feels sad. Right, the moment you walk in, it just, the energy just went completely oh. down the notch by like three. Like I can feel my cheeks like sagging. Like, it, dude, it feels so sad in here. So what, what did happen here? There was Deborah Harmon in 1985, about two o'clock in the morning, she came back from the bar with her fiance. Um, the story of her fiance said that it was a story that she was getting her hit on by a guy at the bar, and Donald Painter was the guy that shot her. That was her fiance. He got pissed off. He came back to the house, got his rifle, 3030. He was going to take it to the bar. Deb tried stopping him, and in the whole mix of all this confusion, the gun went off. It was right in the kitchen 
where it all happened, and then she made it to the door over here and crawled into the bus right there. Oh, my God. Is that the truth story? That's what Thomas says. That's, it's his story, I guess. Her story is actually happened, but you had your finger on the trigger still. Do you think he shot her on purpose? I think, I think he did. Oh. I think that's why she's not resting in peace. When did people start doing investigations here, like paranormal investigations? In this house? Yeah. Five years ago. This is a very different type of investigation than we're used to. Guy killed his fiance mm -hmm. right here, mm -hmm. yeah. less than 30 years ago. Yeah. Literally a few years before we were all born. What's, what's like going through my head constantly is like, you know, he shot and killed her. We're now standing in their apartment where it happened mm -hmm. and it's empty. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So like there was furniture everywhere. Like this was their home. And then just one night, because of the argument, he shoots and kills her. And then think about everything that had to happen after that. The body was here. Yeah. They had to clean it up. They had to take all of the furniture out. Yeah. Like now it's just that sad energy. It's just, yeah. this was their home, yeah. you know? This isn't like, like you said, this isn't a prison. This isn't like an abandoned hospital or something. This was their home. I really want to talk to her and just mm -hmm. let her know that, you know, we feel terrible. She did not deserve that. Yeah. She did not deserve that. Hi, Deborah. My name's Corey. Um, I heard about what happened to you here. I am so sorry that you went through that. I am seriously so deeply sorry. You did not deserve that at all. We're just here to talk to you tonight. If you want to talk with us, if you could please make our devices go off. Hi, Deborah. My name is Jerry. Hi. Thank you for having us here. Why is that one so bright? It's so bright. Is that one of the two I gave you? Yeah. That is insanely bright. Wow. I think she's in the kitchen. Yes, I got it. It's like supercharged. It's nice to meet you, Deborah. Like Corey said, we're here to, hey, here to just chat. Wanted to get to know you, wanted to chat with you and, you know, really learn the truth. What happened to you was devastating. You didn't deserve any of that. Hi, Deborah, my name is Elton. We know that a lot of people come here to talk to you and hear your story. And I'm sure that's exhausting. And I'm sure it's also incredibly exhausting mentally and emotionally to have to be asked about what happened to you or how you might feel. But what we're hoping tonight is to not talk about that. Just have a conversation with you, get to know you a little bit better, more than just what the articles say. And by getting to do that, being able to have a conversation with you and get to know you, now you can maybe help a lot of people feel better about what lies beyond. So looking at the bright side of it, that's what it would be meaning to us here to talk to you tonight. Is that we can have comfort, we can share with the people that watch our videos and, and know us that there is something on the other side. So that's all. Go with the flashlight for now, first. Um, wait, let's ask her. Okay. Hey, uh, Deborah. If you would rather us talk to you just through the flashlight that's in the kitchen on the refrigerator first, can you turn the flashlight back on right now? Okay. Wow. Okay. Alright, we'll just use this for now then. Heard. Can you turn it back off? Look at that. Temperature? Is yeah, but it was also beeping on the joint. Wait, the lights, besides the temperature lights went on? Yeah. That's vibration. Your watch chair, can you move? Like, can you move a little bit? Oh, wow. Wow. 
Yeah, that seems like. See? Oh, it was above it. Oh, well, that's energy. That's EMF. So bottom oh. is vibration. Yep. You know, back. Oh, I see. Top it. is the K2. Whoa. Let's go. Yeah, it was the top. It was the top, right? Well, whenever you do want to try a different way to talk to us, maybe turn the other flashlight on or make a knock or just anything else that we can we can tell yeah mm -hmm. whatever you want to do whatever pace you want to go at we're here wow perfect she 100 percent on her hands so, without any shadow of a doubt you yep. know well it's got to be yes or no question to the flashlight i don't i don't want to go too dark you know yeah, yeah. Okay. um did you like uh, country music? Hey. Country music fan. Okay. So think okay. it's part of the country. Probably. Yeah, country music mm -hmm. fan. Yeah. Did you ever go to any concerts? Have you been to a concert, Deborah? Did you ever go out line dancing? Or did you like to dance at bars? Oh, she sang. Mmm. Do you write music? Play guitar? Piano? Or do you just like listening to music? You know what is like actually crazy about this? Which we've never had the opportunity before? Mm. Anything that we get, we can actually go and confirm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if she was the singer of a country band, like we'd be able to find That's out. Idea. Yeah. We've never actually been able to like real world fact check. Yeah. Serious with you? <sighs> um, okay, so you liked country music. You weren't much of a dancer. You didn't play guitar. You weren't a singer. Is that all correct? That's, that's none of those things for you. Cool. Okay, like country. Do you uh, go out riding horses? Do you ever do anything on a farm? I feel like there's a lot of cattle out here. No. Yeah, I don't know what she did. I don't know. I genuinely do not know what she did for work. I don't know anything about her. Yeah. Let's see. If we had to put on any movie tonight, when I get to the genre that you would you would watch, just let us know. Uh, are you a big comedy fan? Romantic comedies? Oh, oh okay. rom-com. Rom-com, rom okay. Carrie Met Sally. Well, hold on. What year? No, that wasn't out then. Ooh, I'm not gonna know any rom-coms that were out. Yeah. Whoa. Grease? Grease count as a rom-com? The one that I want. That's you like Grease? That's a musical. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should we sing some Grease right now? You're the one that I want. Want to rap on? That's all I know, to yeah. be honest. <laughs> you know some Grease? No. Uh, knows Grease. <gasps> Go Grease Lightning. <laughs> Go green lightning, 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 go green go green lightning, go green lightning, go green lightning, Did you like musicals? Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I did. <laughs> okay, rom comes. I just don't know any that came out. Yeah, wow, again on rom coms. Okay. So we got we got rom coms. Country. Okay. We got country music. Mm -hmm. Yep. Whoa, mm -hmm. EMF. Mm-hmm. Right there. Were you artistic? Did you like to draw? Did you like to paint? Any of the canvas to play? Wow. Oh. No. Carefully on that word. What word? Okay. It's the last name. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean. Uh -huh. Okay, so you were an artist. 
Everyone likes to draw. Mm -hmm. What were she using? Were you using brushes? You using oil paints? No. Mm -hmm. Brushes, okay. Uh, what, what is there besides oil? Acrylic? You got brushes, right? Okay, it's not, it's not acrylic. It's like, <laughs> she's like, okay, acrylic? <laughs> that, that's, that's a type of paint, right? Yeah. Country music, rom coms. You like to paint with acrylic paint, not oil. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, now what kinds of things? Were you a landscape artist? Mm. This is like speed dating. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like you're speed dating right now? <laughs> you feel like you're on a dating game show? Would you like Bachelor number one, <laughs> Mr. Corey Shearer, coming out of Orlando, Florida? <laughs> you ever been to Florida? Should we all pitch ourselves? Um, we could. Wow! wow. This is the first time this one ever come on. Oh my god. We should pick that though. All right. All right. EMF there. went off. Yeah. Well, EMF went off. Really? really? Double confirmation. I did say to turn that one on when to go to here. Oh. But let's, just, but let's go with this for now. OK. OK. Wait, was that confirmation for pigeon stuff? I did say turn that one on if you want to switch it. True. Device. Maybe she's I ready to talk to us. I think, I think she's ready to like properly talk to us. I my so entire too. body has chills right now, dude. My entire body. Okay. I say let's turn it on. OK, let's yeah, what, what's the vote? Is the vote that she wants us to pitch ourselves? Because she likes rom coms and country music, and here we are, three guys, four guys. You, you know, mm -hmm. what was yeah. that? Was that from the earlier question of let's turn this on? I think it's turning it on. Because this is the light that you told her to do it. And also, that would mean she has entered the room. So, okay. Hey. All right, cool. So, so right. let's turn it on. Sounds good. Okay, Deborah. We should be able to hear your voice now. We're going to turn this device on. And now you can answer all of our questions speaking to us. And if you want, you can even ask us questions. Mm -hmm. Cool. And if you ever want this off, the way we'll know for sure is by the other flashlight in this room. Yep. We are, we're, we're, we're dudes. We get a little confused sometimes, you know. You might be a little dumb. want us to pitch ourselves a fake fun dating game because those were big in the 70s and 80s you know dating games do you want to play a dating game for fun Play? 
that's what I heard. Okay. The place is yours. The place is yours. The place is yours. Yeah. Okay. I mean, no. Let me be the host of the dating game. I'm gonna be the host of the dating game. Are you ready to play? That was immediate. <laughs> All right, Deborah. Okay. Before I introduce you to these two lovely gentlemen, would you mind go ahead and sharing with us your favorite thing to do? Is it ice skating? Uh, yeah. I think so. Deborah likes to ice skate. Okay, young man, and what is your name? Jerry. Okay, Jerry, and do you like ice skating? I love to ice skate. Roller skate on the beach, ice skating, ice rink, I love all that. Oh, okay, Jerry. So if you were on a date with Deborah, mm. where would you take her? First, I would take her on a nice dinner oh. where they play some country music. Okay. Okay? Okay. And then we'll go head down to the ice rink and have a good time there. Oh, you know, you heard about the disco ice rink? No. Oh, she knows oh, what she's talking about. Deborah knows she about knows exactly what I'm rink. talking about. Yep, that's exactly where I'll take her. And we'll have a good old time. Ooh, okay. All right, uh, Deborah, what do you think about Jerry so far? To the rodeo with Elton for a first date? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. okay. I think that's one point for Elton. Is that right, Deborah? Is Elton in the lead? Whoa! Okay. Alright, we gotta go over to Jerry. We gotta give Jerry a chance over here. Okay, Jerry. Let's say you and Deborah are out to dinner. Mm. And let's say that the waiter messes up her meal, but Deborah doesn't want to cause a scene and send the food back. What would you do? I would offer my food first if she liked to trade. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think she likes that too. Okay, that's what she said. Could you hear? Uh, Deborah, do you like that answer? How do you feel about Jerry's answer? Would you call over the waiter? Would you yell at him? No, I think I would make a scene, but in a fun way. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like if the food was a little messed up, maybe I just put it on the table. Yeah, I'm going wrong. God, this is not right order. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just because I'm curious to see how much fun Deborah, you mean? Like, okay. Because then together we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? You're right. Uh, Deborah, how do you feel about Elton's answer? You like that? I feel like it's fun to be silly. Do you like a funny guy, Deborah? Do you like a silly guy? Hey guys. Oh. Oh my god, dude. Okay. A little King Kong okay. action. Okay. Our okay. food order gets messed up. Uh -huh. And I'm like, I want it. I want my scramble. Oh. Right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, Deborah. Now I'm gonna need you to talk for this one. Where is your dream? 
date, location. Somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. So you just want to go on a date. <laughs> Deborah's just trying to go out. Okay. 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 Is there is there a certain place that you'd like to go, or you just want to go somewhere? What was that? I think just to dinner. Just to dinner. Just to dinner. Ooh, okay. Now, would you want to go to a normal dinner, or do you like dressing up and getting fancy? I don't care. I don't care. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Bougie. Deborah can have fun. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now let's see. Let's see, Deborah. Now, I'm going to need you to do me a favor. If Elton is currently in the lead for this dating game, can you turn the flashlight on in this room right now? It's only, it's only been two questions. She needs more time. Right? Yeah. I think she needs more time. Okay. All right, Jerry, I'm coming back to you. Okay. All right. Uh, so, how do you feel right now? How, how do you feel with Deborah's possibly leaning more towards Elton? Is there anything that you want to say? Honestly, Deborah, I feel like you just don't know me yet. You don't know who, who I am truly deep, deep down. I could treat you. Then tell her. Then tell her. Why, why are you playing hard to get, huh? Yeah, tell, tell her, her what you do. Why is it so hard? You think she wants a man that she needs to unwrap like a delicate Christmas present? No. She wants someone that's gonna eat their chest when the food order gets messed up. Someone who's willing to be 100% themselves all of the time. Mr. Oh, you gotta get to know me. No. She doesn't have time for that. Say I think Elton won this game. Oh, see, that's the thing, Jerry. You think it's a game? I know it's called a dating game, Jerry, but it means more than that, okay? Let's be an adult. Okay, I got a question for Deborah. All right, Deborah. Jerry okay. is a very good cook. Jerry is very good at cooking. Would you ever let Jerry cook a dinner for you here? That says something about dinner. 100 percent I thought I just said I don't care. I kind of heard that I too, heard, I'm not gonna I lie. Heard, I, heard, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> My heart's kind of broken right now, I'm not gonna lie. Can I ask a question? Yeah. Uh Deborah. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you prefer if you just had a nice that was weird. Would you prefer we just had like a nice? Sure, he knows what you're gonna say. <coughs> Would you prefer we just went out and had? <laughs> Yo, Deborah's feeling you, man. Okay. Would you prefer that we just went out and had a nice picnic at the end of a hike? A lie. I heard a lie. I heard a, I heard a light. I like a lot, yeah. Okay, so a picnic, a little hike, some country music, mm. come back, watch a rom-com, you know, maybe paint. Okay, didn't that say like, that sounds like a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah. That yeah, like that's what I heard fun. too. Deborah, you just like him for his beard, huh? Mm-hmm, more than the beard, baby. <laughs> Uh, Deborah, are you into guys that have Ooh. facial hair? Yeah! Yep. Wow. <laughs> Alright, be honest, Deborah. Are you falling for Elton because of his beard? That's so weird. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Let's see if she likes my mustache. That's why. No way! Did it stay? Yeah. 
Deborah, do you like his mustache? Deborah, do you like this kind of mustache? Country saloon? You want to put it back to normal? Now, I have another question for you. Do you prefer a very romantic, serious guy? Or do you like a comedian, someone that's gonna make you laugh? What if it's both? I can't be both? Uh, <laughs> she agrees. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now, Deborah, I'm going to ask you to use your voice for this answer. Could you tell me who is currently in the lead for this dating game? Who are you feeling more? Is it Jerry or Elton? Oh my god, that says Elton. It did, right? Okay. Yes! Elton. That says oh Elton. Oh my god. Elton's winning right now. Uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen. We have a special guest here coming in to ask a bonus question for Deborah. Give it up for Evan Butka! We're gonna pull a seat for you. If you do end up sitting right here with us, we'll know. I do. Okay. She just goes, I do. So we have our two lovely bachelors here. I think you're signing towards Elton. But would you like alone time with one of them to get to know them a little bit better? Would you say either Jerry or Elton over that speaker? No, it's the same female voice. Yeah, We're really know. talking to Deborah. Yeah. What'd you just say? Huh? What what'd she say? It's so good to hear. Alright, Jerry, we're gonna leave Maybe you guys she alone. Get, you to get know some know me? Okay. But let's let's go ahead and let's give them okay, some more time. time, yeah? Alright. That said Jerry. Come on, Elsa. Alright, well, Deborah, I am here with you. I'm also gonna move the bear real quick. I just heard a man's voice say go yeah, away. I heard that too. You hear right? You hear right? Whoa, dude. You hear right? Yeah, whoa. So, Deborah, you're not alone. I keep like hearing Jenny. That's the second time I thought I heard the name Jenny with her saying it. But hey, we're gonna leave you guys alone for 30 seconds. All right. Come on, Elton. I know you're winning, but let's give them some alone time. Okay, all right, let's go. All right, Deborah. well, you have my attention. You are here with me, just me. Ah, there you go. It is a pleasure to meet you. Like you said, I'm a great cook. I love to dance. I am slowly getting into country music. Maybe you can help me out with it. There's just an orb in the room where Jerry is right now. Yo, it's moving. What? What? The screen was just moving. So the camera. This this camera was just going down and then went back up. I watched the camera move. Look at the orb. Also, we've talked about doing investigations like this for so long. I know. Like setting up a closed circuit, going someone solo and the others can watch. I know. Yeah, I, I want to do this for, I mean, this is going to be a warm live stream, or was, I guess, at this point. That's already happened. Yeah, dude, 
imagine if we could listen, hear everything at like hyperspeed. That'd be the perfect setup. Yeah. Do you like Asian food? Oh, Zebra likes Asian food. Okay. 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 Well, hey, I'm a great cook. I love making my Asian food. I'm sure I can make you a good meal. Would you like to dance with me? No? Okay. Oh, you know what I always wanted to get into? I always wanted to be more artistic. And it disappeared. It came from the flashlight. Are you able to see those on that? Uh, a little, it, yeah, a little, yeah. Hey, look at that, dude. There was no bugs in there, and I closed all the doors. Yeah, look, see, there's two. For the record, she doesn't want Jerry. I think she's just being nice, to be honest. I'm gonna go ask if she wants to talk to you now. I think she's just being nice. She doesn't want to make Jerry feel bad and unloved. She's doing this out of pity. Maybe we go to a drama class. You know, now, now they have a sip and draw where we can sip on some drinks and draw. Okay, Jerry. Hmm. How would you say you're, uh... Hey, I think she's, uh, filming me. She wants to go sip and draw with me. That's what she said? Yeah, and she wants me to make her some Asian food. Oh, okay. Uh... Oh, I wish I heard that. I wish I heard that too, Deborah. Uh, Deborah, would you like Elton to come in here now? Deborah doesn't seem. Yes. Yes? Okay. Alright, Deborah. Uh, Elton, yes, hey, can you come in here, please? Take care, Deborah. I'll talk to you soon, alright? You know what you know would be really fun? It would be taking a house like this and almost like bringing in different paranormal investigation teams and seeing like who gets, like all different styles of investigation and seeing who gets the best kinds of evidence as like Corey and I are able to kind of watch it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like something like that to document like the same house with different people and how That's they really and how they approach it. Because who know how many people have ever come in here and done like a dating show? Mm -hmm. I just banged on the wall. Should I do it? Yeah. give you a minute alone with Deborah, okay? Okay. Deborah, I feel like you and I know each other pretty well. I want to see if I can actually hear your real voice. Can we try that? Analog, normal, traditional, versus through this. Sure, sure? okay. Let's try it. This is, this is such a different type of investigation because it's so recent, you know? Yeah. It's sad. You know what though? What? Of course, dude.
dude had it. Dude, it was like a stick. Look, look, look. Did you just see that? Deborah, I would love to be able to hear your, your real voice. Is it possible to ask you to say hello? We go on a first date. Do you want me to open the door for you? Or do you like to be more independent? Not really play by the chivalry book. Can we go on a hike? Are we doing like a strenuous hike? Or are we going kind of more beach, flat ground? Have you ever been out to like the Virginia Beach coast? Have you been to New Jersey, New York? Anything you want to say to Jerry? Since you're not going to go on a date with him? Alright, I ended it. Dude, it was like this big. It was like a straight line. And it just flew out of nowhere and then turned and flew the other way. And we had the camera facing me. And that doesn't record. What room the room I was in? Yeah. It, it flew right, it flew in front of you. I mean, in theory, I should have it on the other cameras. Yeah, that one has a more powerful IR light, so maybe that's why I can see more, but it should be on the other cameras. Maybe. Bro, it was like a floating stick. It, went, it was like a stick. That's great, they're both full sitting. I have a feeling his answer's on this. Run it. Because I was doing Panasonic <laughs> as you saw that. Oh, he was doing Panasonic as we saw the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's seven seven seven. The temperature? I just yeah. want to put that out there. Oh, it is. Cause that's tripping me out. I'm just chilling there. Oh, if I'm not out of my mind, it was sixty nine point like eight degrees when we started. Yeah. It's went up eight degrees. Yeah, I mean humans would bring it up a little bit, but I really liked it. It's on an angel number. That makes me think it's Deborah. All right, Deborah, you ready for our first date? They both are on. Deborah is ready. Wow, yeah, both. I've been waiting for this moment. Yep. Wow. Yep. <laughs> okay, so we owe Robbie some chocolate and candy. Mm -hmm. All right, Deborah, we didn't we didn't bring anything. For a date, but we want to keep talking tonight. I so also want to make you a promise: we're gonna come back to Gettysburg. We'll bring some country music, okay? And some flowers. Some flowers. Even though I don't think you're into the the, the rom. I mean, you know, you're you're a rom com fan. 
Yeah. Yep. Yep. Got it. We'll get a little picnic basket. Nothing too crazy. No fancy cooking. Mm-hmm. All right. And uh, yeah, we'll just pretend like this is the, this is the beach. This is New York. Should we ask her some more questions on the Panasonic? Sure. One last time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll ask some more questions. All right. Oh, and, and, and just want to make this clear. Just a, it was a, it's a game show. I do in 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 the real world. I do have a girlfriend. Well, you know that. I know. I know, Deborah. Just, it's just in the real world. It's because this is a game show. Cool. You're not mad at me, right? We're good. Ask her on the panel side. Okay. Oh no. Oh, Debra, no. Oh, no. Debra. No. <laughs> so, yeah, you start. Oh, my God. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. <laughs> Debra, I hope you're not mad. But, yes, in, in, in real life, I do have a girlfriend whom I love very, very much. Who's going to be incredibly upset when this video comes out because I have never taken her on a picnic to the beach with country music. Or, or anything of that sort. But are you mad at me? It really is staying on 777. Wow. wow. Because of Deborah. It's, dude, it was continuously going up all night. It has not stayed on like a point degree. Yeah. It's Deborah. And it's staying on the angel mode. All right, let's do one last Panasonic session with it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we just want to double check that you're not mad at me. I do you have a girlfriend in the real life whom I love very much? And she's going to be very upset when this video comes out and realizes that I've never offered to do half of the things that I've offered for you. Does it still sound nice to have us all come back as friends and have a good time, picnic, country music, watch a movie? All right, Deborah. This is the end of the dating game show. Deborah, can you please say loud and clear into this microphone right here? Who do you choose? Is it Elton? Or is it Jerry? One final question for you. Is there anything you can tell us about yourself that no one else would know? That was an influx of energy hit the everything. Flashlight, flashlight, EMF. Yeah. It looked like a bug flew in front of the camera and then flew away, but there was no bug. Yeah, because the screen door is closed, there's nothing in here. Or and that happened at the same time as the entire room was filled up with energy. Yeah. Run it. Let's listen. Okay, we just want to double check that you're not mad at me. Do you have a girlfriend in real life? I love very much. She's going to be very upset when the video comes out. I realize that I've never offered you half of the things that I've offered for you. Does it still sound nice? Have them all come back as friends. Have a good time. Picnic, country music, watch a movie. Yeah, that does sound good. I like that. What? Mm. Yeah, sounds good. I like that. Or is it Elvin? Or is it Jerry?
two locations in a row where yeah. it was that's really cool I know minimal items too I know just hyper focusing on one thing that's so simple okay well let's pack up alright cool alright night Debra good night Debra thank you by the way I mean I'm what woo <laughs> it's late. It's late. <laughs> I don't know which way you're going. Awesome. Thank, Thank, you. So Thank you so much. Very awesome. Thank you. Thank you, man. Totally awesome. It was I'm great. Glad, yeah, I'm glad to take you there. Okay. This has been an awesome spot. Genuinely, we've done so many investigations before. Typically, we do one spot in a single night. Very rarely have we ever tried to do numerous in a night. This worked out very nicely. They're like super close together. Um, for anyone that wants to come to Gettysburg, what's your website? How can they find you? Like, GettysburgGhostTours.com. Okay. Um, you just check that out. We should pop up on the number one, but you know how Google is. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, we're on 47 Steinway Avenue. Okay. Um, how, yeah, how, tells, many, how many locations big, do you have? We got like six locations right now. We got wow. two more coming up. Okay. So, so we've yeah. been to three so far, and then you'll have two more, so another yeah. five to go. We have an outdoor bunker that we're looking at getting. Okay. So that's going to be an outdoor event. There yeah. You. Then, then you got the open to the public like Saks Cover Bridge. And we can go there. Be any time. Anybody can go there. Yeah. But we like the like the private ones. Yeah. The ones you, nobody else can get into. Mm. Yeah, man. Really, really cool, cool spots. Like I never would have found these otherwise. So, yeah. yeah appreciate it. Thank Absolutely, you. Absolutely, guys. I appreciate you. y'all too. Yeah. yeah Had man. a great time. Well, we'll be hitting. Yeah. You. We'll be hitting you up when we come back. Yeah. I'll, I'll be check, I'll be checking out your guys' channels because I like I like to see what you all get. Yeah. yeah. We got right. some good evidence. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, guys. All right, thank you, man. Till next time, man. Later, guys. Hey, Peace have out. Good night. Care, bro. Bye, 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 guys. Good night. Till next time. I gotta take care, take care yeah. of Henry and Robbie yep. and Deborah. Yeah. And Deborah. <laughs>